Started playing basketball, super young age. Started at the YMCA uh, down in Houston. My dad played professionally. My siblings were all athletes, so it kind of just came natural to me. I was the youngest one, so I had to like figure out how to keep up. Then I had to be tough, getting picked on, beat up, and you know, last one picked on the team. As I got older, kept getting better, and you know, my sophomore year, I got my first scholarship offer. like, okay, I really got a shot, you know, to make this dream come true. That's kind of when a switch kind of turned on in my brain and I, I really started taking the game more serious. I had a great, great experience at Duke. In the top of the loft, we won. You know, it was all good vibes. And from there, I decided to declare for the draft. The Miami Heat select Justice Winslow from Duke University. I'm gonna try to learn everything I can and just try to, you know, win games and, you know, live in a dream right now. Kind of what I pride myself on is being a winner, you know, making those plays, being a part of a, of a great collective unit. Definitely one of my goals is, is to try to get, you know, one of those NBA rings for sure. I do everything. I can score, I can play make, I can uh, facilitate. I love to play defense. I love to get that, that stop on your best player. It's rejected inside. Winslow says get it out. I like revenge games. You have that chip on your shoulder and make it happen with a trade, you know, like me. Just being able to go in and, and, and silence that crowd, um, it's nothing like it. I really appreciate our fans here in Portland as well. Um, some of the best fans I've ever you know, seen. I like to play against the best of the best. I don't shy away from it. You know, I love the lights. Um, I love those moments. Uh, I've proven myself. I never try to really limit myself or put boundaries on my game or myself as a person just continue to grow, continue to try to become the best player I can be and you know, try to implement that with a team. Last summer I was, I was waking up early, working out training in the off season. And just as kind of a motivation for me, I started writing these quotes down on the whiteboard and kind of just journaling about the quote or about my day or, or things that I wanted to accomplish. But also at the same time, I just felt that, you know, in the mix of COVID, in the mix of some of the Racial injustice and the Black Lives Matter movement, I feel like, you know, my generation and my peers, you know, we needed something, you know, positive or some encouragement to get us through the day. So as much as it's for others, it's for myself as well, just to center me and kind of understand the bigger picture of, you know, the impact that I'm trying to have on this world um, and my time here, you know, while I have this platform. That's kind of how it started. I don't know where it's gonna venture off to, but um, it's been fun. It's been a fun thing for me to keep going. Um, Nerd found out that my mom, my mom's very special nickname for me, uh, Boo Boo Bear. Uh, so Nerd likes to throw that out. Um, I call him Nerky Jerky. Being able to come into this new environment and just really be myself um, and being able to connect with these guys and the coaches as well, just being authentic and being pure. Uh, I think that's helped me, you know, make this transition a lot easier. And I think it's, it's showing on the court as well. The transition can be tough, you know, getting traded or finding yourself in a new city, but um, I like Portland. I like the, the nature, I like the vibes. It's a little different out here, but I'm a little different myself. I've been playing basketball since the Y. It's nothing really new. It's the same game, different faces, um, but I'm just grateful for the experience. Winslow angles in and lays it home. I feel like I can really fit in in this community um, and, and really try to impact the community in, in a positive way. I guess I'm just PDX to the bone, man. I guess that's what we're going to call it. Bubba Bear. What's up, Bubba Bear? Hey, hey, hey. Come here, come here, come here. Hey, what's up, man? Nerky Jerky, Boo Boo Bear in the building. Boo Boo Bear. Media day number two. Uh, uh, number two? For you? No, you number, number one, number one. That's number two for me. Stop capping, Boo Boo Bear. We got a language barrier. We trying to figure it out. I don't know. So anyway, maybe I've never been to Bosnia and I've never, for me. I've never been invited. I've never been invited. So I'm going to Croatia. <laughs> Stop, I'm playing going to <laughs> Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. He's coming this summer.